Hello my friends and welcome back to a continued Bond Let's Play The Expanse, a Telltale series of PS5. My name is Fellas Burr, this is your Base Gaming Channel, and today we continue our run number two, the Ruthless Failure Run, as we try to, even though we've seen the game once before, we're trying to see it through new perspectives and test to see how much is a loser choice and how much of our game decisions actually matter. So far in the first episode, we uh we, we encountered Captain Spaceman as we jazzed him out of the airlock, which was a uh, a very surprising thing, I will say. I, I thought for sure the game would somehow create an emergency and make it so that you can't jazz him out. But no, we spaced him. So far, we're off to a uh, good start, I suppose. Well, my friends, let's get ruthless. Tamina, don't do this. I'll do anything. Anything. I swear. Anything? I'm getting just out of the airlock. We're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Come! Cut it! How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. And the time before that? And the tin time before that. Just can't get ahead. How are you doing? He doesn't I'm like me. One we need to worry about. Uh, she's getting weaker. I think we should put her out. You know. Sorry, Timmy. Last he needs to go. Her body can't heal under this burn. Even Khan needs to rest sometime. You'll figure something out. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. Uh, don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates are fucking animals. We need Maybe to we should, uh, about your join arm. up with them. Virgil has the medbay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. Uh, what would Cox do? What should we do? Um, you know, let's be indecisive here by saying what should Cox do. Because it makes us look bad in front of the crew. And, you know, that's, that's great. What do you think Cox would do? He sure as fuck wouldn't be asking me about it. <laughs> Cox went with his gut. For better and worse. That's what a captain does. But maybe you're no fucking captain. Captain. Yep, time to put her out. Hey, Arlen, Rayan, we got one more for the airlock. Eighty-two fourteen. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field, caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was in CRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or any other fucking thing. Um... Oh, this is tough. Oh, I'm not... 
Um, do, 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 do. How confident are you? How sure are you? Jeez, after the last few days, I'm not sure I could tell the difference between a pistol grip ratchet and a flex head. <laughs> 80%. New plan. We run for cover in there. Won't work, boss man. Even if, if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive clue. There won't be a drive clue. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot. Fuck yes. Good work. If there is actually something there. Stations! Cons! On my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn. Hit it. the gun play in this. Just the way they fire the guns and the way it sprays. It always looks cool. Landed in the debris field. <laughs> That's cool. It's Jet Pirate! You did it, Boss Man! Fucking legend! Quiet! <laughs> The show is as cool as the game. I, I kind of want to watch Babylon 5 first after playing this game, but I, I would really, really consider watching the expanse. We don't have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen, Baratna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery. As soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. <laughs> uh, it, it's, uh, in, in, you know, I could tell you that I could have made this surgery a lot less painful on you if I would have gotten that uh, crystal. But I purposely didn't get that crystal just so I could hear you suffer, you bird. Is all we have. Virgil's our doctor. He's what we have. The prosthetic is ready. Is the, uh, patient? Fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. Uh, make sure we just cut everything off. She's old. Time to put it down. Did you make that happen, Virgil?
Ship's graveyard, debris field, now you're over to body. Cap. Scanners aren't picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for the reaction mass. Search the belt of ship shore reaction. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a belt of ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board though. And once again, I don't plan doing a ton of exploring. Damn. But we'll Last get things as we go. we locked down. Not sure if there's a way to open them. Always a way through. If you got enough explosives, go check out the other ships. I'll see what I can rig up. You want to use explosives to blast through a blast door? Sure, why not? Guess that could work. <laughs> and part of the thing is, once we get to the uh. Once we get to the uh, the part where we're, we're dodging lasers and stuff, I don't think I'm going to fail that. Because in our original playthrough, we failed out quite a lot, so we know what that's like. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I definitely, we failed that a lot. So we've already seen those failure moments. There's a lot going on in this ship, but actually not a lot. Hello. Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. Bruno's best Klav Kalash. Remember that. Real Earth Whiskey. Even Cox has to settle for the belt of stuff. Can we take that? Come on. Real earth whiskey. Aw, oh, come on. Even we can't Cox take it. Settle for the belt of stuff. Oh, that's a good stuff. Earthers love their oceans. Too bad they destroyed them all. Uh, what's this? Knife block. Maya seemed willing to help with Khan's surgery. Hope she doesn't regret that now. I hope she does. <laughs> Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock kept us on track, but Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and. What the? Let me hear a scream. Oh, hey, Maya. Shit. Darn it. Oh. Must be the captain. Very proud of his connections to the UN and Brass. So the Belters stole some tech from the MCRN. That's how this started. Then why did the UNN get involved? Oh, it's a reaction mask. Uh. Because they think they own the void. Had to throw their weight around once the Belters entered their territory. Got a barrel here. I'll take her. I thought that would take me a lot more time to find. Good work, Sasata. Boss man, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. <laughs> this is different. He's, he's got the shakes. The pixie dust, but he's been clean for almost a year. He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but but we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah, ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man, he'll be fine. It's tough, but thought you should know. I definitely don't want to collect that. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh. Yeah, feet are a good sign. Means they work. I mean, if we find the medicine, I would want to try to not give it to him. 
but at the same not time, not finding the medicine is also a good alternative. I have been here. Go back the other way. It's one thing I hate about the navigation here. I mean, space is huge. And because space is huge, there's so much that you could do, that you could explore, that you could get lost on. There's so much that you might miss. There's something else here. Like right there. Can't even tell which ship is which. It's all blasted to Falota. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. Black Star. This was a full on proxy battle. With a belter ship at the center. There's a blast door, so we know that's that's way we've already checked. Got this hole over here. There's something over here as well. I'll never look at a containment vault the same again after that terrible situation with Rayon. Ah, he's fine. Rayon, how's the new prosthetic doing? Sometimes it feels just like my old leg, but then sometimes it feels like it's the stranger who won't let go of me, and then it starts itching so bad. Quit whining. You made the right call, Cap. Ray wasn't using his leg much anyway. <laughs> wow. That's harsh right there, dude. I thought I was bad. This guy takes a cake. Okay, let's check through here. Another reaction mask. Found some reaction mask. Toss it to me. I will store it. Toss it to him, then fire at it. Pew pew. Nice toss, Cap. Woo. Boss Mang, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. I will second. Right. I want to check the rest of this place first. Hopefully, we'll find enough reaction mask to get out of here. And then what? Going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? We'll find out. Pirates did. We've been on the run for a week because somebody thinks so. Think so with a lot of torpedoes and guns, even. I'm sure Khan will be fine, but it wouldn't hurt to check on the crew. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedoes! Give those <laughs> sons of bitches a welcome! Or I'll throw you in the brig. Sit down, or I'll cut off the other arm. Please do. <laughs> uh, what was that? Uh, why is Khan angry? Is that Khan? Why is she so angry? Something about bogeys on the radar. She's a little woozy from anesthesia. I hope she passes out again. I'm gonna draw on her face. <laughs> Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pashank Fong. <laughs> I don't remember that. Okay, climbing up. Ooh. And the perspective in this game is just wild. So nice. Really, really is. Coffee machine. Typical Inyas. Travel all the way out here yet can't break. Some people don't have anything real to care about. Virgil will probably appreciate these mushrooms. 
Yeah, oh, we're not gonna go to him. Maybe he'll make white kibble when we get back. Cap, what do you think of Virgil? You trust him? Nope. Not sure. I don't know what Cox was talking about in the mess hall, and Virgil doesn't seem willing to talk about it. Not willing to talk, or not willing to talk to Bill? Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Hmm. The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the MCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta. Had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Okay. Well, like I said, I don't want to get the medicine. I believe the medicine is like out there somewhere. Like out, you know, on a, uh, on a, um, on a debris field somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's out there. I don't want to get though. Because I got the medicine in the first run. And considering this is a failure run, you know, we want to mess up as much as possible. Now, it is possible maybe I'll get the medicine and not give it to him. But I have a feeling that that's not going to be an option. If we find it, it's probably found. Okay, I was trying to fly this red thing because I thought it was an opening. It's down here. This definitely looks suspicious. Can't land on it though. Okay, that's weird. It's a random thing that looks important. We'll head this way first. Check this area out. I'm just looking for um an exploration piece. Time to head in? I think so. Like I said, I definitely don't want to find the medicine. Kind of interesting to see them fall apart. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Indians. I'm in. Unlock the door and the leg green. See, you can go back here, but there's nothing back there. I mean, come on. It should have been a place where you found something. Hmm. Another blast door. Pashing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. I wouldn't mind. Heck yeah. Blow this thing up. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sector. Almost made it. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. Let's come over here. Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Ada and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands and this will be our only response. The MCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally in their sector. We recognize neither of your claims over us. This is our fair. Torpedoes, away! Incoming! 
Stand down now and let us keep our course. We will either join our OPA Baratas on Titania, or sacrifice ourselves to your destruction. There is no other option. Beltalada! Who here is prepared to die for your belt? Beltalada! You hear that? Wouldn't surrender the tech and set their message in the only way the inners understand. What was the message? Uh. Um. That the inners are the real thieves here. They take from us every day. And they'll keep doing it if we keep letting them. Brave, Koyos. Disengage. I don't think I went in this spot. I should check on Maya. Is everything, um... Okay, she just said we've been boarded. <laughs> and now she's wandering around looking for intruders. <laughs> so, everything's fine. Let her fire at everyone. Um, no it's not. Maya, this is Khan we're talking about. No one knows what she's capable of. You need to hide. First of all, fuck you. <laughs> See, not getting, not getting that laser is the best thing ever. If there's one thing all belters can agree on, is that the moldy filters kick ass. Oh, I love, I, I love Khan. She's amazing. Okay, that was totally worth stopping in here. Totally worth it. Oh, I am. Doing some wicked acrobatics here. Oh, this is where this is where the plaster was. Okay, so we've been here. What about the mess hall? Have we been here? Gogo -go table. After I wiped the floor with Dawes one time, he declared that Gogo -go was frivolous and banned OPA from playing. Aww. Typical. That's no fun. I don't think there's anything else in here. Are they down? Engine room. There's some reaction mass. Wait, that for just a second. Data cube hacker. This data cube hacker might be useful. Sure, might let you break into Rayon's special data drives. Data push to. You know, those triple circles right there on the bottom left, they looked a lot like uh, uh, the Telltale logo. Okay, I need to do that to push the reaction mass out. I forgot about that. Found another barrel. I think I did this. Ooh, is loaded. I think I did oh, that like that last say. time too. <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! Got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order. Sweet, we got a couple items. Uh, we didn't get the bonus item. Um, do -do -do -do, which is uh, which sounds good to me.
picking up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is now. no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Now this, however, I do Contact want to fail. To we didn't see this last time. Surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit. Cap, you got to get back here. Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. Nothing. I think it forces you to. I like. Yeah. Can't really do anything. I hit like every other button other than R2. Yeah, it's uh ah. Uh. I've said this before and I'll say this again. Never ever give the player an option that you have to succeed in. Just don't do it. I know it's like a tutorial thing, but just don't do it. I mean, I don't need to know in a tutorial to hit R2 to kick this guy into the lasers. I just naturally did it the first time I came across it. Have a failure condition here. And if you don't want the players to fail, just have the R2 go incredibly slow. That way, there's a special scene for people who want to see what happens if you bundle up an easy thing. It's not hard. Yeah. That is horrifying. Surprisingly, it wasn't the lasers that killed it, though. Sabaka. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil. If I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. Like I said, I've already failed this multiple times. Not a couple times, multiple times. So I feel fairly confident that it's okay on a failure run to complete this. Because we've already seen what happens when you die. Basically get shredded up into a million tiny pieces. And then you gotta rerun the whole thing again. I always I get caught on that one. On the Urshanabi. At least my crew are not murderers. Don't tell me. Kamina drama weeps for the lives of UNN soldiers. You don't fight for the belt. You only care about yourself. And apparently the UNN has barely touched you. So what was their crime? Foolishness. And the opportunity to send a message. One you would do well to receive. You're out of your element and your death suit, Captain. No shame in surrendering a battle you didn't ask for. Now, the second part though, I think I am gonna fail. Because this looks like fun. Oh, ho, ho, that wasn't so fun for her. Oh, that was nasty. So it looks like no matter what, the uh, the death scene is, you got popped in the face. Yep, no matter what happens, you just get popped in the face. So that seems to be a fairly consistent uh, death scene. After the first uh, episode, I just figured that a lot of these death scenes will probably be very similar. But at the same time, I want to see how they're different. And like I said, we got chopped up by the lasers many, many times, so... That was not new. However, we did not get killed by these pirates before. 
So that is new. You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. What's that for, Esper? You need to show yourself getting chopped up in layers in a failure playthrough for it to be a failure playthrough? Fine. See, that didn't even make any sense. We were inside the whole of a ship. How in the world did the guns hit me? See, I, I, not, I mean, you like, how did, retreat. how did the guns hit me? There's Protect nothing the here. Your, crew. your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were, they were two of my best. But then needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. <laughs> I like those options. I gotta go up. I think I barely avoid the laser there. There she is. Please tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No. Everyone, stay back. What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to come through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Toussaint! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. Um. You crazy? I said stay back. Sabaka. I told you to stay on the ship. Reprimand me later. Just let me do my job now. Your job is to listen to me. I don't so know to stay what the on the fuck ship. you are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shut off. Glad you're back at your post. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they know our position. That was a nice explosion. Yeah, that was that was cool. There. I think they're all gonna be the same. Ah, let's get one more shot just to make sure. This is a double missile. Maybe it's a double. Yeah, it's the same. All right, it, it is the same. Although the, the autosave is very generous on this. I was holding down the button, but it just wasn't registering right away. Ah, let's take this one head on. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh well, you can't fault it for that. I, I really can't. Firing at the ship. Sweet.
I believe celebrations are in order. Yes, party. Party time! Coordinates are set for the MK Core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede at least. And how is the new? Is that that's interesting too? We have we have plenty of supplies this time. It'll do. Same to you too. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. I forgot how this chapter ends. I've never had anything resembling a civil conversation with Khan before. But I've also never had a cigar to ply her with. Well, let's not give her the cigar. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. They better let me have a choice. I'm gonna be mad. Okay, I'll be mad. But still. <clears throat> Like, I want to taunt her with it. Uh, destination. Pirates. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean, how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. <laughs> Uh, destination. Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So ever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. Now, if I click cigar, will I automatically give the cigar or do I have a choice? Now, there is good news about this. In my previous run, I got the cigar and I gave it to her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little cut in the video here. I'm going to go back and watch my previous run. And I'm going to see if I click cigar, do I automatically give her the cigar or do I have a choice to give her the cigar? Because if I have a choice to give her the cigar, I'm going to give her the cigar and then not. If I don't have the choice to give her the cigar, then I'm just going to say goodbye. So let me check. I looked over and if you give the, if you choose the cigar, you give it to her. Uh, you do get an option of whether you want a hit on the cigar or not. So basically what I want to do here is just say goodbye. Good talking to you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Got your cigar. Not gonna give it to you. <laughs> and the same thing is with the uh, the mushroom powder as well. Uh, with the mushroom powder, I can talk to Virgil. But I have the option of selecting UNN or Mushroom Powder. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. Captain's quarters. That scotch has his name on it. I don't see myself drinking a dead man's scotch anytime soon. Eh, maybe if things get desperate. Hey, no reason to let a dead guy get in the way of good scotch. Whew. Rota. Cox was even more unhinged than I imagined. 
Yeah, well, he's not a bum anymore. What are these? Decryption keys? Pashingwala. I knew Cox was paranoid, but spying on his crew? Great. Now we can spy instead. I like the idea. Thanks, Cox. We appreciate that. And uh, the, the choice at the end of this episode is whether or not to go with Maya. It's amazing how much faster I play these when I'm not hunting for lore or reading dialogues or trying to find space debris out in the middle of nowhere. Although I will say, really interesting when you do. Arlen treats Rayan like he's the weak one. But I haven't heard a single complaint from Rayan since his surgery. Okay, so it looks like we can't talk to the brothers. Maya and Virgil learned a lot of Lang Belter swear words in the past week. Can't. Whatever Cox was saying about Virgil's past clearly upset him. I need to know what it was about. Yeah, this this is where we can probably get some divergence. What's on your mind, Captain? See, mushroom powder. I'm not going to give it to him, though. What Cox said? Cox said you were hiding something. Something that Belters wouldn't like. I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but Cox was a habitual liar. Mm -hmm. First, he tried to murder you. Then he tried to deflect blame onto me. So there's nothing else you wish to share? Nothing you're hiding? No, Captain. No more than anyone else on this ship. Goodbye. Get some rest, buddy. I'm a little... Will do, Captain. I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't press that, though. Like, I really feel like I should have the option to have done that. Oh, well. What you gonna do? I think Maya's the only one left that we had to talk to. I think so. Check over here. Hey, it's containment vault. Saving this containment vault was an awful call to have to make. Ah, it was but easy. But without the fuel, ammo, and oxygen it contains. We could end up losing a lot more than just a leg. And Cox is in there because obviously. Hey Cap. Uh Khan's arm. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. Ah, that's probably true. Um, leave you to it. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um. I want to compliment her in any way. moment in the airlock. Yes. Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared given how tightly you were holding my hand. Uh. You held my hand. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand, Linda. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here if you need to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusion of fantasizing about me. Oh, can we do this? I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. 
My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Mm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. Um, so what? Let's pretend for a moment that we did touch helmets. So what? You're clearly obsessing over such an insignificant moment. It's sad. Bullshit. From the look in your eyes, I would have thought helmet clinking was built your third base. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and settle it. By fighting? I'm confused. Are you still trying to fight me? Either way, someone will definitely be getting slammed against a wall. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad Maya finally got one. This was starting to get sad. She cheated. Get some well deserved rest. Indeed. That sounds like a good idea. Maya Castillo. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? Go to Maya's room. Absolutely not. Screw her. No, wait. Don't screw her. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Sorry, Maya. I'm not. And the strange thing is, by not sleeping to hurt her, you save her life. Go to sleep, Captain. It might be more ruthless to... Hushang. Are you watching me? ...to have slept with her. No. Okay, that's creepy. Now sleep. But seriously, it, the, the, the true Ruthless Rise is probably to sleep with her. That way you can see her get killed. But at the same time, maybe we can get her killed again in episode 5. I mean, that sounds fun. And they're still chasing us. Nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? Bizarre. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. And not a lot of divergence in this one, but there were a lot of choices that we made that's different that will hopefully set up more divergence. Yeah, it just wasn't really a whole lot in episode two. Uh, episode three, we probably will see a couple of different things. I don't know if episode four will see a lot. It's worth testing out. But episode five, episode five is going to hopefully be completely and utterly and totally different. And I am, I am very, 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 very ready for that because it, it, it sounds fun. So Drummond didn't find the laser crystal 55%. Uh, if you find it, it did aid in con surgery. Well, screw con. Uh, Drummer told Arlen Rain she wasn't sure about Virgil, 19%. My my surgery story? 
Do you want me to hear the entire story of Khan's surgery? Ah, I must have been like, you didn't click on all the options, but it is a low percentage. Just why I always try to go for one opposite run. Uh, zero percent! Oh, I love the zero percents. Oh, they're just so great to find a zero. Drummer found a cigar, but didn't give it to Khan. Yeah, screw that bird. Uh, Drummer didn't find medication. Uh, oh, we could have found the medication, but don't give it. Oh, that 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 would have been another zero percent. But then again, like I said, I didn't want to risk it. You know, it, it's one of those things where maybe if I had gone back on my previous save, I would have found that I have an option to give it to him. I just wasn't thinking that far ahead. Uh, Virgil Mushroom, though, this is another zero percent. Drummer found much better, but didn't give it to Virgil. Uh, either way, Arlen is going to be hopefully a little more on edge than before. It's not like he needs it to be on edge. He's always on edge. Uh, 49%. Tremor didn't discover anything about Virgil's past. Which is weird. I don't know why that happened. Oh, well. Uh, Maya's song. Tremor didn't listen to Maya's song with her? Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, Cox wasn't in the brig. 28%. Huh, interesting. Tremor didn't give Cox... Oh, so we could have taken the, 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 the alcohol and given it to him. Ah... Uh. Relationship with Maya, 14% drummer spent the night in her own quarters. Wow, that is a big difference in a uh, story divergence. Only 14 on that one. All right, my friends. Well, my name is Flyspire. This is your story based on channel. This is our continued blind. Let's play the Ruthless Run of the Expanse. Telltale Games Reborn. Hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.